Hello everyone. My project is about asteroid mining with additive manufacturing and advanced space manufacturing with artificial intelligence. Introduction to the concept of mining on Earth. Mining is the process of extracting useful minerals and materials from the Earth. Elements like palladium, terbium, neodymium, strontium, tantalum, and metals like aluminium, silver, copper, gold, etc. are extracted from these processes. Such elements and alloys are used in many devices such as computers, batteries, cell phones, etc. Most of the high-tech electronics we use are built from the elements found under the ground. Adverse effects of mining. When we look at other side of this concept, the mining industry is also responsible for air and water pollution and the destruction of entire landscapes. Mining adversely affects the environment by inducing loss of biodiversity and contamination along with the high fatality rate of the miners. We extract the resources by using dangerous chemicals like cyanide, sulfuric acid or chlorine. The mining hell on earth also generates greenhouse gases in huge quantities. Here we have some statistics of the impacts of mining on our ecosystem. Every year, 1.8 million years of ill health, disability or early death can be attributed to the global burden of disease. The negative consequences of mining for human health include respiratory complications such as pneumoconiosis, asbiotosis and silicosis caused by inhaling fine particles from large amounts of dust generated by mining activities. It is also estimated that it results in life more than 25 years shorter than an average person's life. More people are killed or injured in the mining industry than in any other industry. More than 15,000 miners are killed every year. Here you can see how quickly numbers are flipping. This makes the idea of rapid mining very clear. Proposal of shifting mining industries to space. When we see a problem arising in nature, nature also has a solution for it. And in this modern world, advanced space manufacturing can help us to solve a few global problems. Asteroids are present in the number of billions out there. Rocks, metals, ice, leftovers of clouds, etc. forms the asteroids. These are rocket remnants left over from the early formation stage of our solar system. Asteroids are full of precious metals and minerals worth more than 20 trillion to 60 quintillion dollars. We can restore most of the Earth's natural resources that we have exhausted over the years. 16,000 near-Earth asteroids are waiting to be harvested. We can extract phosphorus, zinc, tin, lead, silver or gold and everything else that our Earth is running out of. We cannot completely shift the mining industries from Earth to space because it would affect the marketing industries. Let's see what approach do I have for this problem and how are we going to use asteroid mining for our space exploration. We will be able to use resources from the asteroids for efficient and advanced space travel and asteroids can be our next fuel station. If we make use of these asteroids in space, it will not only help us to reduce mining on Earth but also excel with our current technologies, which will be used in space exploration, planning and improvising this mission. We have more than 5000 satellites in space currently and only 2000 of them are operative. Lots of rocket bodies and explosions created this debris in our space and near our Earth, which also happened from the collision of the rocket and self-explosion of these spacecrafts. This accumulates space debris to a greater extent. Hence, for our future missions, we need to assess the environmental impacts of missions during the whole life cycle of the mission. We need something that costs less, carries more, and uses less fuel. Sustainable Development of Spacecrafts this radical system is space electric propulsion. It can reduce the amount of fuel or propellant needed by up to 90% compared to chemical propulsion systems, saving millions in launch costs while providing greater mission flexibility. The traditional method of using chemical propulsion requires excessive amounts of fuel. An electric propulsion system uses energy collected by either solar arrays or a nuclear reactor to generate thrust, eliminating the need of storing propellant. That power is then converted and used to ionize gas propellants like xenon and krypton. An electrostatic field that accelerates the ions pushes them out of the thruster, driving the spacecraft to tremendous speeds over time. And instead of fire, its exhaust is a glowing greenish-blue trail. 
An electric propulsion spacecraft is limited only by the gas in its tank. The initial thrust is quite low, but it can continue accelerating for months or even years, and it can also slow down or change its direction. Such an engine would require only one tenth of the fuel that a chemically propelled rocket would need to reach the asteroid belt. Yet, that reduced fuel mass will deliver robust propulsion capable of boosting robotic and crewed missions well beyond low Earth orbit. This new technology will allow us to perform the conversion of sunlight into electrical power that drives the ion thrusters of a solar electric propulsion spacecraft. Robots in Space Robots are the primary explorers of this frontier. There are majorly three types of robots we can use for space exploration. Explorer bots, helper bots, automated systems. For example, the Curiosity rover carried scientific instruments and helped us explore the Martian surface. NASA's Perseverance is even more advanced. The Perseverance rover consists of the body, computer brain, neck, hands, wheels, communication system, temperature control, etc. This NASA mission demonstrates that we will be able to use such kind of rover on asteroids as well. Space agencies have already sent a few missions for asteroid exploration. What we did now is a powerful machine which should be able to dig the surface of the asteroid and is also smart enough to detect the environment and communicate with the scientists on Earth. These are the images from previous asteroid missions and I don't think anything could be better than the fusion of such spacecraft with a space vehicle like Perseverance for advanced space exploration. 3D printing also known as additive manufacturing. 3D printers will help human spaceflight operations by enabling the in-orbit manufacture which would support the requirements for future long duration human space mission. The concept of 3D printing will accelerate towards mass commercialization in the upcoming years. Astronauts already use such printers on the International Space Station. It is very hard to carry all the materials and other machinery to space with rockets for colonization of any non-Earth surface. Hence, 3D printers are all that we should look up to. This technology is already being developed. To 3D print an object, a digital model first needs to exist in a computer. This can be created using a computer-aided design CAD application or compatible software. Then, the printers read the data and start doing their work. For additive manufacturing, we can pioneer the methods of printing the rocket parts that could power those journeys. 3D printing will play a major role in long-duration missions. Let us see how 3D printing would be a sustainable approach towards building a society but not on Earth. It is very difficult to create complex structures and produce transport from Earth to space. Advanced 3D printers would be able to create most of the things astronauts need, like tools, sensors, sensor systems, and satellites, and to our wonder, even a fully printed spacecraft as well. 3D printers would be able to use planetary resources on the surface by extracting metals and water from the asteroids, in our case, transforming them into alloys and using the minerals from soil or using soil itself. Another greater advantage is that anything formed by 3D printers can be built, recycled and reused sustainably, promoting sustainable space missions. There are certain limitations occurring in the present time. It includes economy, material development, designing tools and software, experimenting with a spacecraft on the ground before space, minimal human interaction, space environment that is gravity and or vacuum etc. Very soon we will overcome these limitations and the future of 3D printers is ever expanding, ranging from metal printing, printable electronics, self-repairing printers and food printers as well. Data analysis and modeling. Artificial intelligence will play a crucial role in various aspects of the asteroid mining missions. Starting from identifying the potential asteroids to the deployment of autonomous robots for analyzing the optimal hotspots and carrying out the actual excavation process to extract the raw material. Let us have a look at the science of identifying the asteroids of our interest. The first step in this mission would be scouting for favorable asteroid candidates which would help us in maximizing the yield while minimizing the cost of extraction and transportation. To do this, we would be making the use of data science and artificial intelligence to perform the exploratory data analysis followed by the modeling of the data to draw insights and make decisions. 
The source of raw data would be numerous radio and optical telescopes present around the world. The data from the radio telescopes would be in the structure or tabular format consisting of the various parameters about the geological features of the asteroids. The optical telescopes would provide us with unstructured data in the form of images which could either be used for directly modeling our neural networks or could be transformed into structured data with the help of image processing to extract the features manually. The first part of data modeling involves cleaning of raw data followed by pre-processing and visualization to draw some basic insights by using exploratory data analysis that is EDA. The process of EDA begins with checking the data set for any kind of anomalies which may be present in the form of missing values, irrelevant values, outlying values or duplicate values. These irregularities in data are addressed by using the appropriate techniques depending on certain factors like the size of the data set, the quantum of irregular values and the machine learning or deep learning models under consideration to be implemented. Once the anomalies are fixed, we visualize the data with the help Help of the appropriate graphing techniques to help us in understanding the distribution of the values for different features, the correlation between the variables and so on. At this point, we can make some intermediate conclusions based on the graphical visualization of the results. Post the visualization, we perform certain pre-processing techniques which help us in transforming the data into a format that is suitable to fit the machine learning or deep learning algorithms. Once the pre-processing is complete, we are ready to fit the data into the model. Now, the choice of model will depend on the type of data and the nature of the value which we are trying to predict. Regression models are used in making predictions that are some sort of numeric value. Classification models are employed to make predictions that are discrete, that is, classify the data records into two or more categories. Also, deep learning models are designed to work on unstructured data like images or audio files or natural language textual data. And machine learning models are designed to work on structured or tabular data like CSV files. In our case, to determine the ideal asteroids to target for mining, we would be going with the task of classification wherein we would have the data obtained from the radio or optical telescopes which have been cleaned and pre-processed and now these data records would be used to train the respective machine learning or deep learning models to classify whether a given asteroid is suitable for mining or not based on the historical data we have obtained. Since there are various algorithms in classification like logistic regression, knife payers, k nearest neighbors, decision trees, random forest, bagging and boosting techniques, and the neural network based on algorithms as well, we would have to compare the efficiency of the different models using the appropriate performance metrics before concluding. This initial step of analyzing and modeling the data with the help of artificial intelligence is extremely essential to avoid the pitfalls of selecting asteroids that are not ideal for mining and consequently result in the wastage of time and resources. This constitutes the entire process of asteroid mining with additive manufacturing and advanced space manufacture with artificial intelligence. Our long-term goal and the future of asteroid mining. When we follow all the steps efficiently, we will be able to unveil the wonders of the heavenly bodies out there. Once we start using fuel stations made in space, our space exploration will excel faster. In the future, it is important for us to make Earth a better place by not over-exploiting its minerals as well as striving in space exploration. With sustainable development, we will be not only able to extract minerals from asteroids, but we will also be able to colonize moons of other planets and exceed our limits of space travel. This will serve as a major breakthrough in the realm of science. An end note to mentors and educators at TKS. I am more than grateful to the Knowledge Society for recognizing my skills and giving me the opportunity to present my research work. I really love the process of making this project and executing my ideas. From educators and mentors, I have learned to stand out and execute my ideas efficiently. I am looking forward to becoming a member of TKS family and helping to create a change in this world. Thank you so much.